Well, I'm so excited that you're here for the Kotlin section. Uh, like I said in the intro, this is one of my favorite sections because I think Kotlin's just so exciting. I personally think it's going to be the next big thing in Android development and just all Java development in general. It just, to me, is so much better than Java. I love programming with it. I think beginners will be able to pick it up better than Java, and it is just gaining so much popularity. If you just go ahead and Google Kotlin popularity, uh, I mean, you're just going to get tons of results here, and I just checked out a few of these, but I mean, big, big, uh, you know, rising star here, Kotlin, I believe, and Java is one of the most popular programming languages in the world, and so, for example, on this, uh, I have never know how to pronounce this, Tayobe, Tayobe, uh, index here. Uh, if we go ahead and look at Java, it's the number one programming language in the world. Now, it's slowly, well, I don't know about slowly, it's pretty quickly dying uh, from that position, and it's, you know, coming down. It had a real dominance at one point, uh, and I think that's because a lot of people are seeing Java as, you know, a little bit outdated. Some of these other programming languages are much easier to work with, and that's the case with Kotlin, and so if Kotlin can keep getting the growing popularity and all these top Java developers will start switching to Kotlin, I think we're really going to see uh, Kotlin shoot up. Because right now, Kotlin, uh, it's way down here. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, it's at position 48 right now, which I'm sure, uh, you know, years ago when it started, it was down maybe in the hundreds or something like that. But uh, I mean, just to be on this list is a pretty big deal. But when you look at its potential of where it could go, uh, Kotlin is just an awesome investment to get into right now, I think. Uh, and coming from, and an awesome thing about Kotlin is if you know Java, you'll be able to pick up uh, Kotlin very quickly, and uh, you know it's not too big of a switch. So, well, it it, it is a switch. I, I mean, that's why we have this section here to teach you all about it. Uh, but you know, I don't think it's like earth shattering or anything like that. So to start here, I honestly think the best way to learn how to work with Java is to use this IntelliJ idea. So these are actually the same people behind uh, helping to create Android Studio. Uh, but I find their program to be better for just, this is one individually focused on just being an IDE for Java or Kotlin. And so uh, we want to go ahead and take this and uh, use it to first learn Kotlin. Then we'll come back and make some apps with Kotlin and Android Studio. So go ahead and go to jetbrains.com slash idea. That gives you this IntelliJ idea. So we'll go ahead and download this. And whatever your operating system is, go ahead and get that. Now, uh, there's the ultimate version, which has got all these bells and whistles and stuff. Uh, the big one we're looking for is that it has Kotlin, which this free open source one has. And so we're going to go ahead and use that. Again, I don't think we're going to need any of these. So uh, we'll go ahead and get the community option here. So we'll wait for this download page and boom, that starts coming through. Okay, now I have already gone through and gotten IntelliJ all downloaded and installed. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up on my computer. So let me go to my applications and let's get to IntelliJ. There we go. Wait for this to pop open here. Yeah, by the end of this lecture, you will have written your very first line of Kotlin code, which will be great. So uh, really excited for you to check that out. All right, so this opens up, and uh, this had a project that I was working on uh, before. So uh, I think we can probably go ahead and close out of this. And we want to start a new project. So as you can tell, uh, yes, very similar to Android Studio. You can tell like the same people uh, you know, have been working on that. So we want to create a new project and you can choose what type of project you want to do here. So there's, you know, the classic Java stuff, but for us, we want Kotlin and we want the Kotlin slash JVM. You can use Kotlin that will be converted into JavaScript. That is a very interesting subject uh, that I cover in a separate course that's just focused purely on Kotlin. But for this one, we want Kotlin slash JVM. So go ahead and select that. Uh, then we're going to need uh, a project name and I think we should just kind of have a little file that we can use to play around with and have fun. So I'm just going to go ahead and call this Kotlin Fun 
And uh, I'm going to save this into my idea projects. Remember, that's the name of this IDE. And I'm working on uh, SDK 1.8. And we'll go ahead and just use the Kotlin Java runtime. So we'll go ahead and hit finish there. And if we go over here to the left, you can see uh, some of the files that we're going to have. So there are these .idea files. These are all have to do with the actual, uh, you know, IDE getting things set up for you. But it's inside of the source where we want to work. So in here, we want to go ahead and create a new file. So we're going to make a new, and we want it to be a Kotlin file. So we can call this uh, whatever we'd like. Uh, maybe let's go ahead and call this one something like hello.kt, because this is sort of like our hello world. Now, in order to be able to run some code here, there's a few things that we've got to do. And the first one is we have to create a main function. So uh, when you just have an independent Kotlin file, you have to have this main function that says I'm running this. Essentially, it's like if you were running it from the command line. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to type out here, just start typing main. You should get an autocomplete where you can hit enter. And then that's going to pop up this function main args. And don't really worry about, you know, well, what's this main function? How it, does it get called? Uh, uh, but just know everything inside of these curly brackets is code that we can run. So for example, if we want to write our very first line of code here, like uh, let's just print something out, which is essentially the same thing as logging. Uh, let, we'll just go ahead and say print line, and we'll put inside of here a new string that says, hello, Kotlin, exclamation point. And look at this, this is so cool. In Kotlin, you don't need semicolons. That's one of the many pluses that you're going to see here uh, with Kotlin. But once we have that in place, we have our main function, we have a line of code there. I'm going to open up our SRC here, and I'm going to select our hello.kt, the Kotlin files end in .kt. We're going to right click, and we're going to say run hello kt. So it's going to go run this file, and it's going to spit out some information for us about anything that we print. For example, here, printing hello Kotlin. Okay. So we'll go ahead and wait for this to pop up. And you can see down on the bottom, there's lots of different text with all sorts of different colors. But just know the stuff that's in black is the stuff that's been printed. And so there we can see the hello cotton, Colin. And now that we've run this for the first time, we don't have to right click this file anymore to say run. Uh, instead, we can just go ahead and hit this run button up top. And that will automatically uh, do it for us. So any changes that we want to make, we can go ahead and just do it right here. So uh, I have for you about an hour's worth of lectures that are going to teach you about the basics of Kotlin for someone with a Java background. Uh, I recorded these for my uh, Kotlin programming course, and so this is specifically for your situation, right? We've been through a bunch of apps. You know Java pretty solidly now, but you just want to know about Kotlin. So I'm going to teach you the basics. I'm going to run you through all those videos. Then I'm going to have some extra special lectures for you at the end of that to say, okay, you've made it up to this point with Kotlin. Now let me take you one step further and show you how it all works with Android Studio and whatnot. So I'll go ahead and pass the torch off to the other me. Go ahead and start learning Kotlin.